All right, so this is gonna be my top four things that I like cooking at the moment. These are vegan recipes. This is gonna be a very simple cooking video just showing you how I cook these things. All right, so the first one is a Thai green curry. This is the perfect dish for just if you want something light and refreshing. It's really healthy. So first step, just chop up some carrots. Wash them first, obviously. Make sure they're diced nice and small. Then just put some olive oil in a frying pan. Heat it up, add the carrots in because they take ages to cook, okay? Then while that's doing, you want to chop up some peppers, make sure to wash them first, dice them into small little cubes, and then you want to add those to the carrots, mix them in nicely. While they're cooking, chop up some green beans or some snap beans, whatever they're called, add them in. While that's cooking, chop up a chili. Make sure you chop it up really small into tiny pieces because this is really spicy. You want it to mix with all the flavors. Now, while that's stirring, you want to just boil some rice. Now, you want to add your Thai green curry paste and coconut milk to the mixture. You want to cook them all until it's all sort of absorbed into a light color. Uh, this is quite important. You want to make sure that it does absorb all the flavors here. Now when that's boiled for a bit, you're going to want to add some either some vegan meat pieces or you know you can add some stock as well just to flavour it a bit more. I like to add some vegan meat pieces just because they give it more sort of substance, but you don't have to. You could also add lentils or chickpeas if you wanted. And that's pretty much it. That's a Thai green curry done. Okay, so the next one is sort of like a noodle and vegetable spicy soup mix. I don't really know what to call it, but firstly you want to just chop up your broccoli and peppers put them into the frying pan with some oil and just sort of sear them until they're soft and you know nicely textured. You don't want to cook them too much because you want them to be crunchy, especially when you've got the chilli flavour. So just fry those for a little bit while you cook up the chilli. You want to chop up the chilli into tiny cubes. While that's cooking on the frying pan, you want to boil some water and put your noodles in. I like to use instant noodles, but you could use anything. You could use any type of instant noodles, as long as they're vegan, obviously. Then cook them all, add in the chilies to the mixture, stir it round, add a small amount of water and stock to the vegetables, and that's going to sort of make sure the flavours get locked in as you're cooking it. Add the stock slowly and then stir it, make sure, making sure that the whole amount of vegetables gets covered and saturated by the water. This is going to make sure it's actually going to taste nice. And that's pretty much it. Done. Okay, so this one's going to be a nice vegetable soup. This will be slightly spicy, but we'll get onto that in a minute. So firstly, dice up some onions. It doesn't have to be small pieces because they're going to be blended at the end anyway. So just chop them into big chunks, you know, big enough that they will boil and cook quickly. Then chop up your carrots and then add them into the mixture, boil the water, add some broccoli. Now, don't worry about how small you dice these. As long as you can stir the mixture, it's going to be fine because, like I said, you're going to blend all of this at the end anyway. So, chop up all the vegetables, add in the potatoes, obviously wash them first. Now what we're going to do is think about adding some seasoning. So you're going to chop up a chilli, as I said, you can chop it up into small pieces, but it's going to be blended, so it doesn't really have to be this small. Add in some herbs, the chilli, and maybe a, a bit of stock as well. Stir the mixture around and then start it to boil. It's gonna take a while to cook all of these vegetables simply because they're, they take a long time to cook. So add in your stock and herbs, as I said. This is gonna flavor it. You can't really test the flavor until the water's boiled and absorbed some of the vegetables. But as soon as it looks like this, start testing the water for taste and see how you think it tastes. Then add it all into a blender. It doesn't look great at this stage, but then once it's blended, it will look really good. Blend it all up. You might have to do it in stages, and then you're done. That's a vegetable soup. This is actually one of my favorite things to eat in summer. This is just gonna be a nice, spicy, refreshing couscous salad. I don't know what else to call it. It's just a salad with couscous. You basically add in the couscous to a bowl, put some salt and stock on top of it, cover it with one centimeter of boiling water, and then stir the mixture in. That's all you need to do. As soon as you've done that, cover it with some foil and leave it to stand for 10 minutes. I find the best taste is seven minutes, but you wanna just be sure that it's cooked. Then add some oil to a frying pan, add in some kale, obviously wash it first, add a small piece of salt to it. Chop up your peppers. These are gonna be a key ingredient because they make it crunchy and refreshing. Make them into small cubes. 
add in some chili as well. I like to remove the seeds usually, but in this video obviously I didn't. Um, mix that all together, making sure that the chili is in small pieces. Then you need to just fork the couscous to make it all fluffy. Add in the vegetables. Add in some chickpeas, not sure why that's upside down. Add some sweet corn. This, again, this just makes it crunchy and refreshing. The chickpeas give the protein. Stir it round, add in some sultanas. These are really important for making it sweet and refreshing as well. Stir it all round, then you're gonna add the kale. I like to also add a bit of lettuce just to make it a little bit fresher. You can also add some chili sauce if you want as well. And that's pretty much it. Nice, refreshing. This is perfect for summer days when it's too hot to have something warm.